Smart contracts are the technology that's going to define how humans interact with each other, and they already are starting to do that right now. They've seen explosive growth in use in at least the financial sector, growing from 500 million, give or take, to over 20 billion in assets under management with these smart contracts. In addition, we've seen products that enable smart contracts or that work with smart contracts explode in price. Now, people can get a little bit confused about smart contracts because they run off of the groundbreaking technology of blockchain. You may have heard of blockchain's flagship product, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the OG, the original blockchain currency. But we ain't talking about Bitcoin here. Now in this video, we're not going to go into the cryptography of blockchain. We're not going to go into the software engineering of blockchain. No, this is going to be a simple explanation of what smart contracts are and more importantly, what they can actually do for me and for you. So if you're like, what does blockchain actually do for me? Or what do smart contracts actually do? Or maybe you're like my brother and you keep saying almost right things about blockchain. A contract is a program developed to execute tasks when a certain criteria um, that is described in said coding is, you can't, you can't, you can't, and, oh wow, well, me, 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 like it's a, you know what I mean? It's a song. The centralized chain link oracle. Then this video is for you. Quick disclaimer, my brother actually understands smart contracts really well. I just caught him at a particularly humorous time at explaining it. Smart contracts are one of the most important features of blockchain. Blockchain has a lot of other features that we're not going to go into because in my mind, smart contracts are the pinnacle of what the technology enables for us. First thing that I'm gonna tell you that a lot of you less technical people I'm sure will enjoy is that you don't actually need to know how blockchain works in order to understand how smart contracts can make your life better. In the same sense that I'm sure a lot of people don't actually know how the internet works and yet you use it every day and it makes your life a lot better. You even know what this HTTPS thing in the corner of your browser even stands for. If you guessed hot topic teaches people skills, then you'd almost definitely be wrong, need a cold splash of reality, and probably some form of counseling. You may not know exactly how the internet works, but you know you can order a pizza, watch a movie, connect with your buddies, or get banned on social media. <sighs> If you are interested though, there are some links in the description for nerds like myself. Anyways, what's important is what the technology can do. So to understand what smart contracts can do, let's first define regular traditional contracts. A contract is an agreement between two people or two groups or two organizations. If I do something, you'll do something else. Really simple, we've had this forever. You give me berry, I give you meat. Boom. If you pay rent, you have an agreement or a contract with your landlord. I'll pay you $800 a month, you'll let me stay in your home. If you have internet, you have a contract with your internet provider. If you buy a stock, you have an agreement, you have a contract with your brokerage or exchange. And if you subscribe to my channel, we have an agreement that I'll keep giving you the best videos in the cryptocurrency space. <laughs> Having effective, honest, trusted agreements is what makes civilization run today. The more agreements can be trusted and conducted, the better a civilization does overall. You can learn more about the evolution of contracts and agreements in this video from Mr. Sergey himself, or this video, yeah, this one. So clearly smart contracts are what enable the world to work as is. The computer you're watching this on is a result of a contract. The chair you're sitting on, that quart of ice cream that you bought where you went, yeah, I'll just have one spoonful that you ended up eating the entire f***ing thing is a result of a multitude of contracts. Ben and Jerry's, man. Now, smart contracts make massive improvements on traditional contracts in speed, execution, security, but there are actually four main improvements that we want to focus on here. The extreme level of centrality, the contract conflict of interest, enforcement, and transparency. Smart contracts solve these issues by being decentralized centralized, fully transparent, auto-executing pieces of code that don't rely on third party or centralized intermediaries to run. And if your brain just sputtered out from that big sentence, let's break it down for you. Extreme level of centralized control. With all your agreements and contracts, even though it's two-sided, it's typically pretty heavily one-sided on who actually owns the contract. Like your internet service provider, for example. You pay them X dollars a month and they give you internet. But if the power goes out or something happens on their end or they make a mistake, they have the power to just shut off your internet and you're screwed. There's not a whole lot you can do about that. If you don't pay them, they just don't give you your internet. Another example is with your bank account. You've made an agreement with them for them to store your money and you to come back and take it out whenever you want. However, once they're in control of your money, they're basically in control of the contract because they can 
freeze your assets, stop your assets, kind of do whatever they want with your money. Or like what we saw with the Great Depression, you couldn't even withdraw your money because the bank ran out of it. They can also charge your account if they think that you did anything wrong that they don't like. It's because they own the contract, they own the execution of the contract, they own all the assets, the cards are in their hands. Another great example is with the lottery. You're trusting them that they're going to be honest when they pick their random number. They have total autonomy over how the random number process goes, who picks the random number, and then if the number really is random. Now, somebody might say, well, isn't it all coded? Isn't it all automated? They control the code. They can tweak whatever they want with the code. And a lot of times, since you have no control over it, you may have been one of the jackasses who writes letters after letters to support until finally resorting to bitching about them on social media like Reddit and hoping and praying your screams are loud enough that one of them will glance in your direction and decide to throw you a penny and help you out. Smart contracts fix this issue by being decentralized agreements. Smart contracts are contracts written on a decentralized blockchain. And the code isn't executed on that company's servers. It isn't executed by that company. It's executed by the decentralized collective of everybody working and participating on that smart contract platform. Because if somebody says that they'll do something, they give up the keys to being able to pull that back because everybody else in the world automatically is going to execute that promise for them. So if you make an agreement with a bank via smart contract, they have zero say over being able to freeze your assets or not because it is automatically executed by this decentralized collective. They lose all of their power to control your funds and control your assets. They can scream as much as they want, but they no longer own the logic. Smart contracts take this this massive power disparity and disperse it amongst everybody to make it more fair and decentralized. We've already seen projects like this in the DeFi space or the decentralized finance space, where you can put money into a decentralized bank, a decentralized brokerage, a decentralized exchange, and you can just take your money out whenever you want because there's no centralized intermediary that has control over your funds. And uh, did I mention the interest in DeFi is like way higher for your accounts? Smart contracts can help anytime you've seen this power asymmetry in your day-to-day -day life, whether it's not getting a refund, a company lying about how effective a product is, your insurance not paying out a claim, and so much more. Now, because of this power dynamic in traditional contracts, this issue number one actually causes issue number two, which is the contract conflict of interest. Not only do these power-starved heathens own the contract and, you know, therefore your butt, but they have a huge conflict of interest in actually executing on their end of the bargain. Let's take insurance, for example doesn't want to give you money on the claim. They are a for-profit organization. So giving you money is exactly the opposite of getting for-profit. And that's the opposite of what they want to do. So even though they have this agreement with you to pay you out whenever you run into a bind, it's completely against their best interests to actually fulfill that. Excuse me, sir. We... we we got another claim coming in. Somebody, uh, somebody's house got destroyed. Uh, they'd like us to pay out. Uh, yeah, find a loophole. I'm trying to buy a yacht soon. A great example of this actually is in 2005 when Hurricane Katrina hit. You'd expect the insurance industry to be paying out all these claims and actually having a massive downward trend in how much they actually profited that year, right? I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? They actually profited $45 billion as an industry, which was a little less than 20% increase over the past year. What? Now, some other political bull went on to make that happen. But at the end of the day, this conflict of interest was clearly there. Smart contracts, again, are to the rescue here. And we've seen projects like Arbel pop up to make this actually happen. So could you explain that a little bit more? Uh, I can't try to f*** you as an insurance company. Arbel is working on crop insurance for farmers. Whenever there's really poor weather, insurance provider will kick in to help them out. Now, the huge advantage of this whole thing being smart contractified is that the insurance company doesn't have a say and when those claims need to be filled out. If the weather is bad on these four days, the insurance company has to pay. And the smart contract automatically executed, it automatically deducts the funds, so the insurance company has no say. This removes this conflict of interest and is a huge benefit, and I am so excited for more insurance providers to get into the smart contract world because of this enforcement. Now, a common response to a lot of this is, oh, well, if they just screw me over, I'll just take them to court, right? Oh yeah, great, when you're in the hospital dying because you need some surgery and uh, your insurance provider won't pay for it and they should be paying for it, yeah, we'll just take them to court while you need a new kidney or a new liver because you drank too much on New Year's or some and maybe you needed that money to pay rent and you work a nine to five and you have five kids and your parents are both dying and you're trying to take care of them and the insurance company goes ah! I don't care and you going to court basically means you lose work days and, and now you're in a horrible situation where if you do go to court, you waste time, you lose money. If you don't go to court, you don't get the money and you're just screwed either way. Definitely not the most ideal system that we currently have. Maybe you need a truly random sampling and being able to go back or, or redo a medical trial isn't really an option. And you don't have the luxury for somebody to be dishonest and fuck up your medical trials. Smart contracts automatically execute whenever the parameters are met. So you don't have to worry about this enforcement happening because it's all code. The code is law and smart contracts. Transparency. Transparency is 
huge in today's day and age. We've seen massive court circuses over what a company is or isn't doing. And this is all because they're not always super transparent. With agreements, this is crucial. Maybe you're an artist and a company has agreed to give you 50% royalties. Maybe you've bought a loot box and the company promised the percentage chance of you getting that golden Fortnite skin is what it is. Or maybe a credit rating agency said that their evaluations were very fair and very honest, but you're not allowed to see what those calculations are. Maybe they accidentally don't report all the royalties that should have been paid out. Maybe the random number is skewed. Maybe their rating methodologies are not so fair after all. Now, an even bigger example of this is just big bank and big money institution transparency. The easiest one to talk about is the 2008 financial crisis. Now, there's a whole lot of issues and corruption with finance in the world today. An easy, an easy play is just the rating agencies. They say, hey, this mortgage product is AAA. It's very good. Our PhDs say so, uh, but it's behind closed doors. You can't see. Um, they're all good. If that was open source, if that was transparent, it would be really easy to see, oh, uh, hey, you guys are up real hard right here. Because smart contracts are all public and open information, this adds this huge layer of transparency and you being able to be assured that what you're getting into agreement with is actually fair and actually honest. This transparency creates a world where there's more accountability, more honesty because it's all public information. There's no more hiding behind false crap. This more honest, accountable, trustworthy world is a world that I desperately want to live in. Smart contracts solve this issue of fear, of uncertainty, and doubt, and lack of trust in the digital age. These superior decentralized digital agreements called smart contracts have the ability to re-landscape entire industries to make them more honest, fair, and reliable. This is a world that I so badly want to live in, and I've already started living in with some of the advancements like what we've seen in DeFi. Whew, got a little heated there. Now, there are a lot of platforms that allow for these smart contracts to happen. The most popular one right now being Ethereum, but other smart contract platforms are out there that do different things as well, like Cardano, Solana, Matic and Avalanche. These are the platforms that enable logic to be written to govern these smart contracts. In addition to having the logic, you also need the data behind these smart contracts. Engineers build smart contracts to get their data via decentralized Oracle services like Chainlink. Chainlink is the most popular and best Oracle service out there providing decentralized definitive sources of truth about data. Now I mentioned it at the beginning, and I'll mention it again here, but if you haven't watched Sergey's The Evolution of Smart Contracts and Cryptographic Security video, definitely take a look at it. It goes even deeper into to all the examples we gave here and, and the history of smart contracts and the history of the platform and where we're going next. And it gives some fantastic insights. And it's just really exciting to be in this space and see how much better we can be as a community. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the description. I love answering questions. This is what I do. And we're gonna have a smart contract order a pizza and uh, maybe the type of pizza will be determined by you. I don't know, I'll figure it out. It'll be fun when I build it. Maybe I'll get some suggestions from you guys when we get there. In any case, leave a comment, be sure to like and subscribe to the video and I'll see you guys next time.